Hello everyone, welcome back to Geomorphology. The continents and the ocean basins are the fundamental relief features of our earth. They are the first order relief features and in the previous session we were discussing on the distribution of these relief features through continental drift theory. Let's look into the view of tetrahedral theory. We all know that almost 70.8% of the total surface area of the earth is represented by oceans and approximately 29% by the continents. And there are several hypotheses with regard to this origin of oceans and continents. And the first acceptable scientific theory was the tetrahedral hypothesis proposed by Lothian Green in the year 1875. So let's look into what is the present day distribution pattern of continents and oceans. The northern hemisphere of the earth is dominated by land area that is approximately 75% of the land area is occupied in the northern hemisphere while the oceans dominate in the southern hemisphere. Roughly almost all continents are arranged in triangular shape in which the base is towards the north and the apex is pointing towards the south. Oceans are also triangular in shape but contrary to the position of continents that is the base towards the south and apex pointing towards the north. The north pole is surrounded by ocean water while the south pole by the land area. There exists an antipodal arrangement of continents and oceans. That is, almost 56% of oceans are situated opposite to the land area and 95% of the land area is situated opposite to the water bodies. And last but not the least is the Pacific Ocean that occupies one third of the surface area of the globe. Let's look into what is the concept behind this theory. The tetrahedral hypothesis is based on the fundamental principles of geometry. Elliot Beaumont is considered to be the first person who attempted this concept. However, the theory of Lothian Green in 1875 came popular and significant as it is based on the geometric principles. So, the theory is based on two assumptions or principles. The principle number one is that a sphere is that which contains the largest volume with respect to its surface area. And the second one is that a tetrahedron is that body which contains the largest volume with respect to its surface area. Green has made the following assumptions for his theory. This theory is based on the characteristic of a tetrahedron which is a solid body having four equal plane surfaces and each surface is an equilateral triangle. There is a dominance of land area in the northern hemisphere and water in southern hemisphere. The triangular shape arrangement of oceans and continents. The situation of continuous land area around the North Polar Sea and water around the land area of South Pole. Here, the water is considered as the Antarctic ice sheet. There exist antipodal arrangement of oceans and continents. The largest extent of Pacific Ocean covering one third of Earth and presence of fold mountains around Pacific Ocean. Now let's move into what the theory of tetrahedral speaks of. According to Green, when the Earth was originated, it was almost in the form of a spear and was very hot. Gradually, the Earth began to cool down due to the loss of heat as a result of radiation. Hence, the upper part of the earth, which is in contact with the atmosphere, cooled quickly and solidified, forming the crust. However, it took time, long time 
for the interior part of the earth to cool down. Consequently, the interior part of the earth was subjected to much more contraction which resulted in a marked reduction in the area of the inner part. The crust of the earth that was already cooled could not be able to subject to further reduction and this created a gap between the crust and the interior part of the earth. Consequently, the crust collapsed on the interior part and the earth assumes the shape of a tetrahedron gradually. Green also clarified that due to the structural variations, there are some directions and deviations in the shape from a true tetrahedron. Four oceans, namely Pacific, Atlantic, Indian and Southern Ocean were created on the four faces of the terrestrial tetrahedron. These plain faces retained their water as their level lies lower than the apices of the tetrahedron. Let's look into what are the criticisms against this theory. To a great extent, tetrahedron theory explains the present-day characteristic features of position and distribution of continents and oceans. However, in science, it is argued that the balance of Earth in the form of a tetrahedron cannot be maintained. This will affect the stability of the rotation of the Earth. The spherical Earth cannot be converted to a tetrahedron while cooling because the rotation of Earth is on its own axis and it is so rapid so that it cannot be converted from a, any shape to a tetrahedron form. The hypothesis believes the permanency of ocean basins and continents. However, in the scientific world, it was later validated through the concept of continental drift theory proposed by the Alfred Wegener and later on through the plate tectonics of Hess. I hope you have enjoyed today's session. For any queries or comments, please post in the suggestion box or through the Google Classroom. I wish all a great day ahead. Thank you.